The Solvita test kit for compost maturity was developed in response to a series of incidents in New England in the early 90s, where container plants were being damaged by immature compost, which had been blended into the peat moss and pine bark blends. At the time, it was not determined what the cause of the damage was. Immaturity of compost is a quality of compost being incompletely decomposed during the composting process. This is indicated by continued heating and high carbon dioxide respiration. These traits can harm plants when high rates of compost are being used, especially in container mixes, where the percentage inclusion of compost may be as high as 30%. Woodsen has continued to research compost effects on plants. As studies have shown, that a principal mechanism of compost damaging plants is high respiration rate, which you can see by observing roots which will appear reduced or damaged. This plant has significantly reduced root growth. And this plant has very healthy root system. This is because the immature compost demands oxygen to decompose. And this competes with plant roots which require air as well. It turns out that measuring the volumetric respiration of the compost, which is the basis of the Solvita test, enables you to guard against this problem. Here in the lab, we have employed traditional high-tech methods to assess compost respiration, methods used by other labs and which are significantly more complicated than Solvita. For example, here's a titration apparatus that is very commonly used to measure CO2 respiration. It's a time-consuming process requiring you to have good laboratory skills to calibrate reagents, to handle and dispose of toxic chemicals used in the process, and to carefully carry out a series of steps in order to achieve an accurate end result. Here's another more high-tech test Europeans favor called OxyTop, which measures pressure produced by active immature compost and which relates directly to oxygen consumption. We use it if we want to perform an uninterrupted three-day test, since it takes a while to set up and it must adjust to barometric pressure. The results are electronically recorded by a remote reader, and with this you can spot composts that are demanding a lot of oxygen. Here's the most well-known procedure called the Dewar self-heating test. This tells the completeness of composting by measuring the residual heating when compost is placed inside a laboratory Dewar flask essentially a high-tech thermos. This is a slow test requiring many days at a controlled room temperature. The end result is the maximum temperature attained during the test and recorded on a probe. This brings us to the Solvita test, which we designed to reduce many of the limitations of these other tests. It's a volumetric test that, when used properly, does not require sample weighing. The chemistry has been pre-calibrated on test probes designed to absorb either carbon dioxide or ammonia, the two most significant emissions of active compost. These test probes are inserted into the sample and record the results from a four-hour period of time. The change in color of the probes obeys a chemistry law, and this is proportional to the concentration of the molecules of carbon dioxide and ammonia in the sample. In this way, Solvita provides an accurate and inexpensive means to measure stability and maturity relatively quickly in any compost product.